My name's Andrew Mudford, uh, background sort of consulting and program management and been lucky enough through this journey firstly through New Zealand through you know, Inland Revenue and the Department of Internal Affairs and MSD um, and then obviously moving to Australia primarily focusing with, with Transport for New South Wales. A big part of that journey has been around data and analytics um, and obviously pro providing insights to, to end users. Work for Hitachi, which is a big Japanese conglomerate, um, part of the digital innovation group there. So head up our industrial offerings and solutions practice. Um, lots of exciting, you know, different people to talk to in different industries. So, um, yeah, there's no no day without its challenges. That's for sure. I think it's really important for when you're talking about innovation to think big but start small. Um, it's really important to be able to demonstrate and identify a use case in a short period of time, you know, validate it, and build on it and move on. Um, I think you know, it's really important that we don't start building these monolithic innovation programs that don't end up you know, delivering results. Uh, really one that we're quite proud of it be in the form of you know, innovation um, is work we're doing with the Great Barrier Reef at the moment. So preservation of the Great Barrier Reef and looking at how nitrate runoff impacts it and working with farmers to ensure that not only are we providing a sustainable outcome but that we're not impacting productivity. So putting insights back into the hands of those farmers so they can run their business a bit better and obviously help the environment while we're at it. I think the, the challenge with implementing innovation in most businesses is the businesses themselves are not necessarily geared to drive innovation. So identify a small group of people initially, um, take ideas from the field, but most importantly start small. Um, you don't need to do grandiose IoT and big data programs to drive innovation. Sometimes it can be as simple as that report that takes 10 days to run, give it to someone the same day they need it or on demand. Um, ensure that the information you're providing them is correct and up to date. I think innovation means lots of things to lots of people, but ultimately I think it's about making people's lives easier. And more often than not, there are people inside your business that already know what those problems are. It's really about unlocking them. Look for your librarians and your accountants. I, I think one of the fantastic parts about attending you know, events like Innovate New South Wales is just the quality of the speakers and understanding what's going on. I think we have this you know, perception that you know, government's slow moving and not innovative, but you know, hearing some of the groups speak today is, you know, yeah, they're, they're really pushing the agenda. You know, they are trying to make you know, joined up services work and, and drive citizen engagement. Um, I think be able to get that means you can actually you know, take pockets from different groups and see how you can apply it in your own, in your own world. How would I describe today's event to a friend? Um, you've just got to make sure you book in for next year. Um, there's always something happening. Um, there's lots of different speakers, lots of different perspectives. Um, it's only a small part out of your day. Uh, and it's a good chance, obviously, to network and understand what you know, government's agenda is.